I've been living in downtown Los Angeles for the past eight months and here's how I feel about it. I mean, to start off, a lot of people might be wondering, why would you move downtown? I mean, a lot of my friends ask me that because, you know, downtown Los Angeles doesn't really have the greatest reputation. I live in a two bedroom, two bath, and it is definitely a lot cheaper than what you would get at the beach for a two bedroom, two bath. You get more amenities, but I guess living by the beach, you have the beach. So yeah, I guess going into this, my thought process was it would be a pretty equal trade-off. So I moved here to Little Tokyo um, because I was coming here like two to three times a week anyways for food. As a lot of you guys know, I like ramen a lot. I, I do like the village and everything like that, but downtown is downtown. Downtown Los Angeles can be pretty rough. Yeah, it has its ups and its downs and we'll get a little bit into that. I thought moving down here meant like I would have more places to you know take friends when they come out and visit, like getting ramen here, here, here or here but no nobody wants to get ramen with justin nobody wants to sit in an hour and a half of traffic oh wait. does our friendship mean nothing to you now nah, i get it little tokyo it's a lot further from where the community that i built a lot of my friends are in venice santa monica area on a good day two days out of the week you could probably get to the beach in like 30 minutes but most days it's about an hour and a half drive i don't blame people not wanting to drive up here and you know, Little Tokyo is walkable. But anywhere outside of Little Tokyo, can't really walk. Even if it is walking distance, you can't walk there because it's pretty dangerous. I mean, look at the Citizen app. This is an app where you can see all the crime around you. This is like a Christmas tree, but very terrible. <laughs> there are these like really cool pockets. Like I said, Little Tokyo is within itself pretty cool. I like places with character, that's why I really love Venice. I lived in the suburbs, I lived on the beach, and now I live in the city. I will say this, you don't know what you really love until you've been somewhere you don't really like. But at first, I did really like downtown. Like coming here for food and stuff, it was always a great time. But actually living here is not so great. I think this is, this is not a really great excuse. It is one. What I film on they're pretty big cameras like this is a pretty big camera with a big microphone and you know I'm not a scared person or anything like that all my family's from Compton I'm there all the time from growing up going there all the time and learning from my family is to be aware of your surroundings you know you got to be street smart especially in major cities here in America you know maybe that's why I like Tokyo so much because I didn't have to look over my shoulder all the time I never had that feeling having to look over my shoulder like walking through alleyways at 11 p.m. at night you know, here, I have a rule. Do not go outside after 10 p.m. I definitely did feel creatively restricted. Like I said, I'm carrying around a big camera right now. I don't like not feeling safe carrying this, this camera or anything. I definitely want to be fair and don't want to like just crap on downtown Los Angeles. This is just my experience. There's been definitely a lot of cool stuff like events, there's been like car shows on the streets. Yeah, there's definitely culture here. That's something I do really appreciate and I do enjoy. That's one reason I chose Little Tokyo because it is an area of Los Angeles that really does have its own culture. Yeah, I don't see myself being very creative here. Crime kind of got so bad that I just didn't really want to leave my house too much. Like, it can be a bit much out here. I don't think the city life is for me. I honestly, I'm an ocean guy. I love being by the water. I love Little Tokyo. I love the restaurants. I love the food. My apartment is nice. It's just, yeah, I, I want to be by the water again. Like this is my rooftop. I'm extremely grateful for this. Like this is beautiful. I don't want to make this video sounding like I'm complaining about where I live, which it, it basically is a little bit. But the overall message is, if you're living in a place that you call home and it's not a place that inspires you or is moving you forward in life, or you feel yourself stuck in a mundane routine, every day is basically the same and nothing's really pushing you, I think that's your sign to move. That's your, your sign to, to go. And in my case, I tried to get out of my lease. I can't, unfortunately. I am locked in at this apartment till February, but until then, I'm gonna make the, the best out of it. I'm gonna start coming up here to this rooftop a lot more. I'm gonna attempt to have more game nights with my friends. Hopefully when basketball starts, maybe I'll go five minutes away to a Laker game, which I really want to. Who knows where I'll go after February? I have a few options. One of the options is not 
in this country. But if you're looking to live in LA, I think I can offer you pretty good insight. I recommend moving to the beach. It's a lot easier to make friends. Don't move to Hollywood unless you're a musician. And from my experience, my first year and a half, uh, I spent a lot of time in Hollywood. It wasn't the, the best crowd, maybe it was just my experience. The best places I I enjoyed being around is Venice and Santa Monica, but this is, again, this is my opinion. Downtown is it's pretty cool, it's just the crime is, is pretty crazy. Be wary of that. Little Tokyo, it's tolerable, but you'll find yourself kind of feeling stuck within the boundaries of Little Tokyo. Because as soon as you step outside of those boundaries, it's, you know, Venice has its fair share of crime too, but Venice, Santa Monica, Marina Del Rey, Manhattan Beach, like, I love those places. If you're looking to move to LA, that's my recommendation. But anyways, I'll see you guys next week. Peace.